Hi, Brad Ward here from Ward's Auctions, and we are into June now. Our next sale that we're about to see is, it's huge, really. Uh, you're going to see some great pieces, big pieces, small pieces, very eclectic. Uh, it's going to be on June 10th, on the Sunday, June 10th, from 11 o'clock in the morning, and on the Monday, June 11th, and that'll be at 6 o'clock in the evening. We'll go to lot 350 on the Sunday, and then stop regardless of the time, and then start again at 351 on the Monday evening. Preview, though, is paramount. If you're at all in the area or reasonably close, even if you're going to bid online, which has already started, even if you're going to bid online but you're you know, reasonably close, come to the viewing so you can really come and kick the tires. In this case, literally, because we have a couple of vehicles we'll get into later. Um, and that's going to be on the Friday, June 8th from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. So have a good look at that. You're probably already from our website, wardsauctions.com, if you're seeing the video. But if not, wardsauctions.com. The sale is 11802 145th Street, Edmonton, Alberta. And uh, phone number is 451-4549. And all that will be below in the videos uh, anyway, if, if possible. So, you know, just going to sort of wander through. We've got Crane Thomas Originals up here. Uh, you really need to sort of be on the other side of the room when you view these because, you know, this type of artwork, you need to be a distance back. So uh, there really are some great pieces. Lots of antique wardrobes in the sale. It's funny because you go, you know, two years without seeing one. Uh, and now I think we've got six in the sale if, if we, it may be even more than that. We also have show home furniture. Uh, I forget the show home that it came out of, but we've got some, some nice, modern, up-to-date decor and furniture you can see here. Uh, the sort of stuff that you see in show homes. Uh, in front of me, 150, you're going to have to have a peek at that on the website because you can't see it, but it's a sideboard that, that opens up as a bar. This is an English piece. You open that up, the little drinks tray pops out. Still has some of the original fittings inside there. Very, very neat little piece, that one. Burled walnut. Modern mission style lamps in here. Again, this is obvious. You can see that it's show home decor. More vintage um, primitives. It's from the same estate we had some in the last sale. So some rocking horses and that sort of thing. Really neat stuff as well. Stuff that we don't see that often. And again, now we saw uh, several in the last sale and yeah, I think we have several in this sale as, as well uh, not as much of uh, well yeah there's still some of the furniture as well we'll get into Royal Albert China more sideboards back there uh, there's an estate that we have that has the Cadillac and so on and, and so racks of DVDs and racks of CDs that uh, there's they're, they're the kind of up-to-date modern stuff that you're gonna want to see Another big sideboard here. I'm kind of working my way back to this settee because this settee was bought at McKellarin's and those of you that are local and, uh, and know anything about fine, fine furniture, McKellarin's is you know, the epitome of, if you will, uh, for fine furniture in Edmonton. And, you know, a piece like this would be thousands of dollars in their store. And, and a very discerning gentleman, I never met him, it's an estate, and he has passed away, but uh, the guitars that we're going to get into were all his, <coughs> Gibsons and Martins, and, you know, eight pieces that are all his. Uh, there's a Sovereign that was his, the Cadillac was his, the mountain bike was his, so, so definitely a discerning gentleman. Oh, again, as, oh, even though I did not meet him, that's obvious. Some reproduction mahogany. We've seen this type of thing before. Uh, works out very well, of course. There's china back here. You can't see it. That's fine. Lots of furniture. You know, this is a really neat. Is it a sideboard? Is it a server? It's small enough you can fit it in anywhere. Vintage sleigh. I really want you to pay attention to lot number 230. You're seeing the tabletop of it. But actually, right on this side is a settee. And this just folds down to make a table. A little bit cramped right now, but there's a settee, really good piece of, you know, is it Quebec pine? Is it on to, you know, upper Canadian? However you want to describe it, it's, it just doesn't get any better than that. There's two keyboards that I can think of in the sale. And when I say keyboards, I don't mean, you know, a little Casio from Walmart. I mean, here's a Roland KR177. This is lot number 110. There's also a Yamaha uh, Clavinova in the sale. <clears throat> which is a great um, electric piano and I say that I know because I paid retail for one when my children were little. This is a neat piece. Hopefully I won't screw it up because this is the sort of thing you screw up when you're on video but it folds down like so. You've got a little console table. Good genuine antique piece and fairly easily you pop it up, clips into place and you've got like a three-tiered butler. So cool, so cool. 
Another big sideboard. Hopefully we'll have some clients that have some good, good space to use up. One of, one of many quality guitars. This is a Martin six string guitar. Um, I won't get into the lot number because I don't see it jumping out at me. Looks like it's in great condition. Every one of them we put in the catalog see photos for condition. I don't know guitars inside and out by any stretch of the imagination. Some of them have some issues on the top. Uh, some of them have some issues on the back. Some have no issues. And so you, you want to have a have good look at them uh, to, to make sure that you know what you're buying. So you should be able to tell, I think, from the pictures. This is what I talk about coming, coming up and viewing the sale properly. Because, you know, when do you get eight Gibson and or Martins in one sale? You know, when do you get five or six flat screen TVs? I think we have. That might be a lie. Maybe we only have four. Uh, here's another one. Gibson guitar, vintage piece. I don't know which ones are which now offhand. 323 is that one. We'll show you a few more as we go along. Again, more uh, show home decor and, and furniture inside here. This one's really neat. Not sure if I'm going to screw this up for the, for the video as well. I should have been a little bit more prepared to open this one. I think you need the key. Bear with me because it is worth seeing. This is a nice desk, as you can see. This is one piece of flame mahogany. Take a look at that grain goes all the way up and they've made the furniture, this piece of furniture with the one piece. We may not be able to get it open for you, but on the, um, just because I got the wrong key and I'm probably I'll do something wrong. You know, that happens when you're on camera. So there is pictures of it though that uh, Steve posted that has multiple configurations with it open and whatnot. More primitive uh, rocking horses here. Here's another Martin in a 12 string. Again, you know, it's, Certainly in used condition. Somebody was in playing them the other day. A couple of them sound gorgeous. These couple of them, he didn't tune or anything, but really impressive. And again, when do you get that many in a sale? Uh, writing slope here, another guitar, this modern roll top desk over there. Take a look at the, at the selection of Persian and otherwise carpets. Some of these are brand new, you know, brand new, brand new vintage, you know, if that's even a word. Um, older pieces, newer pieces, all, you know, piles and piles of 100% wool. There's a few in here that have, like this one right here, I'm not sure if the camera will pick up on it, silk highlights in it. Absolutely wonderful. Not a mark on it, looks brand new to me. Um, and again, call it 100% wool with silk highlights, I think that's a bit of a misnomer, but you get the point, right? Uh, mountain bike, same gentleman with the guitars. Another wardrobe, sterling silver, Burke sterling silver, I forget the pattern offhand. Another gentleman, not an estate, really neat guy, uh, with all the toys, a whole bunch of toys, including this wind-up motorcycle toy, military toys, the forklift, dinkies, um, piles and piles of stuff. He didn't just have toys, he had other stuff as well, but, but uh, definitely some neat toys, one of my favorite things. Take a look at this Swiss Army knife. I imagine somewhere there's somebody actually carrying this in their pocket. Screw, it's, it's a modern piece. Screwdriver tips, uh, corkscrew. Every single one of these has a corkscrew and a glass, a, a screwdriver to fix your glasses with. You can't go, you can't really leave home without it. Take, I think it retails for four hundred dollars. So those of you that are not used to paying retail monies, that's what happens when you start going to auctions. You start to forget. You quickly forget what retail is. And so I encourage you to go to retail stores now and again, including places like McKellarin's for furniture and, uh, you know, Burke's or those types of stores for smalls. And, uh, you know, just, just soak it all in again to, to remind yourself that the real world out there, a lot of these people that have consigned or passed and put stuff in an auction, they paid retail for this stuff. So some more craft in here, some mud men. A uh, biscuit barrel, there's some carved duck decoys, some, some really quite nice ones, and uh, some cranberries, some soapstones, there's one backwards here, the walking wheel, stained glass windows, I'm not sure which pieces you're going to see, which you're not in the video, but, uh, but definitely a lot of good pieces in the sale. We're passing another good Gibson guitar there, Victorian sideboard. This is a fantastic piece. Pay close attention to 428 in your catalog. Salamander handles on there, on the Oriental vase. Mid-century modern, 
It's got quite a few pieces of mid-century modern, including this sideboard and, uh, and this dining. Is it a set? I don't know if we have it let, lotted as a set. 118. So it's a set, a little drop leaf. This one came from another small estate that was out of the, the Le Marchand. Here's another Martin 12 string. You know, again, can I echo how many times we've got how many in one sale? Doesn't make any sense. Some quality furniture back here. Bedroom suite, probably is a brand name. Won't get into it right now. Two, three, four is a lot number. All the pictures, of course, are on the website. Modern china cabinet back there. All the pictures are on the website. Sometimes multiple pictures, depending on if the piece warranted it or not. Little nut kidney shaped vanity, but you know, something not dissimilar. Uh, we talked about the artwork. I missed the gym vest painting that was at the back wall. Uh, should have pointed that one out as we went along. Over here we have a, a fairly large Sky Jones painting, an original, and, uh, and again you'll find that on the website. It is lot number 200. Have a look at 200 in the catalog. Another walking wheel. You get two in one sale. Drop front secretaire, another wardrobe, quarter cut oak. Semi-contemporary top quality bedroom suite here. A couple more flat screen TVs. And a, you know, a TV cabinet, modern one. Inside the cabinet here, uh, not all sterling. Some of it's going to be plate, but like you know, the little casket to my left is a little plate piece, but it's a really nice piece. And then there's going to be sterling pieces inside there. There's a little vintage framed portrait, vanity sets, and of course, Burks is not even doing the sterling van vanity sets anymore. So you have to go vintage if you want to get a vanity set. I'm going to poke you around the corner here, something we don't normally do, just because those, are, those that are familiar with the room, this is our, our packing area for after you've bought smalls and so on, but we're just busting at the seams, so we had to come into here as well. We won't bring you all the way around, but here's another flat screen TV, another mid-century uh, sideboard and table and set, set there. This is actually a hide-a-boy, hide-a-boy, hide-a-bed, made by Lazy Boy. And they just paid about $1,800 for that one, just before it came into the uh, to the sales room, or you know, call it six months or whatever. So th that's why I bring you back here. And here's your cl clavinova that I mentioned, which is a great keyboard, piano, electric piano, weighted keys, does lots of wonderful things. I don't play, so otherwise I would have plugged it in and just wowed you with it all. Jewelry, we have good jewelry again. We have good paper money, um, coins. We've got three of these 1967 decimal sets with the $20 gold coin. We've got three of those in the sale. We've got this emerald and diamond ring here that's appraised at 18,000. And, and again, those that are new to us, remember we do stand behind our appraisals. So we will, uh, you go get that reappraised somewhere at a reputable appraisal, appraisal outfit or appraiser, you're gonna be in the same ballpark. Uh, there's a uh, sovereign. Uh, there's a $2,900 ring, $10,000 earrings, $6,000 earrings, $5,900 tennis bracelet, $13,000 solitaire, some nice gold and, and, uh, and jade pieces up here, sterling silver uh, Canadian Olympic set from 76. I think these are sterling silver too and the car coins, or maybe coins is not the right word, but car sterling silver medallions or something like that. And some more costume and some other uh, coins down in the bottom, cameos, etc. Nice selection of Waterford crystal, some of it in, with the original boxes there. Well, wedding season coming up, these are great gifts. Never been used, still have paper labels on them. Interesting Royal Dalton figurines. Uh, there's some interesting Beswick and or Dalton animals too, like the deer family here that I don't remember ever seeing before. So that's an interesting little little lot. Being sold as one lot, the little family. You gotta keep the family together. That's important nowadays. More Royal Daltons up here. Uh, some that we don't see that often. Some that we see more often. Some Ladros it looks like there. Artwork and decor. Some of the show home stuff is along that back wall as well, as well there. So, and again, as the camera goes along, you're just gonna see more and more neat smalls. Some of them in tray lots. Some of them in smaller lots, Murano glass type animals, crystal, there's some toys, there's vintage hats, there's neat little lamps. I'm gonna get, yeah, there's just a neat little lamp. Retro in the Arbright. Um, it's, you know, this is all original. Chrome, Arbright, two different colors on it. It still has the frosted glass doors, very cool there. 
Um, remember to say the, the preview is the key. I always want to stress the preview. Come to the preview so you can really see, because inside this little lot of stuff, you're going to find a treasure. Look at these great little toys. I mean, when do you get an opportunity to come to a sale and buy this many vintage toys in one day? Somebody spent a lifetime putting the collection together, you come in one day and you cash in on that, that hard work that somebody else put in. Um, what else can we point out? I'm going to take you to the warehouse real fast. We'll skip that at last aisle there. But I do want to show you, just, just so that you know that we're, we're busting at the seams. And if you're either at the end of this video or probably in a... Oh, this is a cool piece. Only because it's got a naked lady on it. Three naked ladies. A uh, very, very nouveau lamp. Boudoir lamp, I guess would be... You're not going to put a naked lady in your living room too often. Um, we have a Cadillac, 2008 Cadillac, that's like brand spanking new. And from an estate uh, that was working right up until uh, before the winter, uh, a fellow died at a younger age, younger than me, and he was working with the vac truck that is also going to be in the sale and, and will be videoed. Uh, like I said, we might tack it onto this video, but we'll also maybe have it on a secondary video. Uh, here's a gas, natural gas barbecue. Fairly clean as a whistle. These are all boxes and boxes and boxes of vintage Playboy magazines. So they have a lot of great articles in them. So I encourage you to have a peek at these. The, uh, now they are vintage. When I say vintage, I think late 70s is probably the newest. Now don't quote me on that. We are having to sell them in big box. You know, there's like six boxes all as one lot. Um, <laughs> I think there's a lot of collector value to them, even if just for the things that we don't see anymore, the ads for mid-century design, furniture, clothing, tobacco, cars, alcohol, those are neat pieces that you can make displays with. Uh, I would imagine you'll get lots of the Vargas uh, uh, pinup girls in there because of the age of them. So those are always really neat. But I just wanted to show you that we're, you know, again, we're busting at the seams here. We're into the warehouse. You know, we always say, oh, no, we're not going to do that again. And here we are. We even have a couple of carpets hanging up in here that are, that are for, the, uh, for the sale. And these are all boxes, again, of the Playboys. Uh, this is 1973. Again, so there's a car ad, Mercury Cougar, right on the back. Uh, I don't even think Cougar was a term back then, but it was just a car. Now it's both. So anyhow, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. It, you, you have to come. It's a great sale. You're going to see it online, so you're already going to be saying, yeah, that's a great sale to come to. And the viewing is so important. I know online bidding has become such a, a large part of our business, and we do appreciate that. But you know, seeing it in person is, is it just, you, you, there's nothing that can replace that. So anyhow, my name is Brad Ward. On behalf of myself and the whole team, thanks for watching. Again, just a quick rehash, June 10th and 11th, uh, 2018 is the, uh, is the sale. Sunday is 11 o'clock start, Monday is a 6 o'clock start. Preview, preview, preview. Friday on the 8th from 4 o'clock until 8 o'clock. Wardsauctions.com, online bidding, uh, et cetera, et cetera, 780. Four five one four five four nine. Thank you very much for watching. It's going to come to life. What fun is that? How could how could you not want to do that every day? Every day. Take a look at this estate piece. I mentioned it on the other video. What we have here is a piece, a truck that is a working truck. This was working uh, just months ago uh, b before the uh, untimely passing of the gentleman that had the business. And so this is a, a 2001 Dodge Diesel, uh, one ton vehicle, all set up for, uh, for the vacuum, for ducting and all sorts of stuff. In fact, it was very paramount. This truck was up in, uh, in Fort McMurray doing the big cleanup out there. So we're going to sort of give you a circle around the truck. It is all set up. It's got all of the uh, tools, all of the attachments, everything that you're going to need. Let's we'll see if we can get it a little bit quieter, turning the big vacuum off. But you can see that it's all set up. Tools and cubby holes, all the hoses and uh, fittings that you're going to need to do the job. It's a good solid running vehicle. These, of course, are all your... Some of you that, that already have done this for a living, you understand more with all this, but 
the rest of you have a working idea of, of kind of how that works. Big, big vacuum that goes in and cleans out ducting and furnaces and, and whoever knows what else. Uh, right on here it says relieving symptoms such as allergies, asthma, uh, respiratory discomfort. All set up. There's no reason to believe that he doesn't have everything in there that you would have been using to, uh, to do the job. Because it was, it was his livelihood right up until the day that unfortunately he passed away. So this is all set up, ready to roll. Uh, I'm not sure what else I can tell you. It's got about 100, and, I'm going by memory here, about 175,000 kilometers on it and about 2,200 hours. And you can hear the diesel just running solid. Uh, it doesn't have new batteries in it as you're looking at this right now or on the imagery, but it will have brand new, two brand new batteries at a couple hundred dollars each for the sale. Uh, these ones, they're okay, but if you leave it, then it won't start, whatever. So we're gonna put two brand new batteries in. I already have them, I just haven't installed them yet. So have a good close look at that one, and that's for our June 10th, 2018 auction. Thanks for watching. Hi, Brad Ward from Ward's Auctions. We have our June 10th and 11th sale coming up, 2018. The car that I'm beside right now is going to be on the on the Sunday, on the on the uh, 10th, and it's roughly lot 274, 274A, I think, and it is a, a 2008 Cadillac DTS, 108,000 kilometers, and we do have uh, this is from an estate, so uh, you know, and this I, I drove this thing. I never thought of myself as being much of a a Cadillac pilot before. Uh, this is very nice to drive, as you can just well imagine. It is, it's a Cadillac, right? And uh, as much as it has tiny, tiny little bruising, you know, on the little pad on there, on the door pad, uh, that's door trim, it's so minor. This thing is in such nice condition. It's only got, like I said, 108,000 kilometers on it. Lived indoors in a parkade. Clean as a whistle tan interior. I'm not even sure what you call this exterior color, but it's very dark and uh, mild metallic to it and clean as a whistle and inside is clean as a whistle. We'll get in here and show you. I mean, it's got all the features you would expect in a Cadillac. Um, satellite radio, navigation, sunroof. Uh, there you can see the odometer, 108,000 kilometers, all your steering wheel controls, leather wrapping, um, obviously heated seats, uh, let's look at there, cooled seats, heated seats, memory seats, uh, is the stuff you would expect. I drove it around uh, the day after we got it out of the, out of the uh, apartment complex because I took it out to the car wash. It had been sitting in the, in the dusty parkade for a while, so it needed a bit of a rinse. So I took it to the car wash, good excuse to go for a drive, and then uh, then went on a couple of house calls with it and went back to that apartment because the movers were emptying it out. What a beautiful thing to drive. You just, you really feel like you're in luxury. Um, so it, it, it really sort of speaks for itself. I don't think I have to get too carried away. It is in the, in the June 10th 2018 auction at wardsauctions.com is the website. The address of the sale is 11802 145th Street in Edmonton, Alberta. Now, uh, it is a live, real auction with live bodies, and of course, there's also online bidding. So, if you haven't done that before, you'll find the links on our website. So, just go ahead and, and, and follow the links there. Get registered. If you've never done it before, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, just follow the rules, read the terms and conditions, and, uh, and follow the rules. But best to come to the sale if not for just the viewing. Just even if you can only come to the viewing to really have a good look at not just this, but all of the great estate pieces that we have in the sale. Thanks for watching. My name is Brad Ward.